Are you feeling flat? Is something missing? Does it always feel like you're running smack dab into a wall? How would you like to feel more energetic, playful, childlike, full of ants in your pants? When we were kids, we played. We didn't sit around waiting for permission and we made our own rules. Can you remember what it was like to try to sit still for 10 minutes? Once upon a time, imagination, curiosity, and the need for adventure would start a squirming in our chairs, followed by a thunderous slam of the front door as we ran outside to play on the earth, gaze at the stars, and hang from a tree. Humans evolved in direct contact with nature. Unfortunately, we have unplugged from this sustained connection thanks to convenience, mass consumption, consumerism, and this overwhelming need to be plugged in and up to speed with the latest and greatest. Nature designed us to be hunters and gatherers in the great outdoors. Disconnected from nature means we are no longer physically and mentally stimulated in the same way. We are not moving according to nature's design. Instead of resisting gravity, we are assisting gravity. There is a strong association between increasing inactivity and the rise of current illness, which we are taught are chronic disease. Disease. The very word itself is really being out of ease, being out of sync, being out of balance with nature's design. Body, mind, and soil will teach you how to reconnect with nature, develop sustainable energy, and build muscle and strength to prolong longevity and prevent sarcopenia. Sarcopenia or motor unit remodeling is a degenerative loss of muscle, strength and power as we age. We will also see a corresponding decrease in functional mobility. Think about it. Haven't you noticed it's a little tougher to walk up the stairs? Now, having more muscle and strength is good, but ultimately, functionally moving these muscles, contracting these muscles, will lead to improved insulin sensitivity, a decrease in inflammation 
producing visceral fat. Your muscles will secrete powerful enzymes, interleukin-6, activated protein kinase, which are both responsible for glucose homeostasis and energy homeostasis. Come and join me. Let's move and play in the great outdoors. When we get up close and personal with nature, be it on a silky sandy beach, barefoot in the grass, or hanging from our favorite tree in a park, we give our overstressed mind and bodies a much needed boost. Does it feel that you're constantly running smack dab into a brick wall and have zero energy? Perhaps it's time to start moving your body the way nature designed us to move. There are many reasons why connecting with nature is good for mind and body. Research proves that barefoot in the grass or sand will help you absorb electrons from the Earth's surface, a natural antioxidant that prevents cellular damage, regulates the autonomic nervous system and circadian rhythms. However, knowing this won't change a darn thing. Knowledge is power, but without action will leave you powerless. It's time to get up and move. Our first raw movement is the sunflower. Cues, chest up, chin back, gently clasp your hands behind your head. Pull those shoulder blades down and back and squeeze them together. Next, gently rotate your spine from side to side. Repeat 20 times. The crucifix can be done anywhere, anytime. Chest up, chin back, hands in front of the shoulders, thumbs touch each other. As you pull your thumbs apart, turn the palms up. This is an absolute must to be practiced throughout the day to take us out of that chronic eye hunch position and dismantle kyphosis. Our third raw movement are walkouts. Number one, pivot from your hips. Two, slowly and under control, walk your hands under your shoulders. Third, as you walk yourself back up, cue tall spine, reach right above your head, grab that sky or the tree branch above you. The tree hugger will get you up close and interacting with nature. Hug a tree, grab a tree, use that tree for balance. Squat down and complete two walks around the tree. After you've gone one direction, let's not forget to do two laps in the other direction. Who doesn't love monkeying around, feet on the ground, hand over hand, slowly climbing up that tree. Stand on your tippy toes. Now, always under control, slowly walk those hands back down. Moving in nature restores balance. As we age, we are susceptible not only to sarcopenia, but also an increase in our postural sway. Balance and proprioception drills that challenge mechanoreceptors are a must to maintain biomechanical homeostasis. For your one-legged squat, grab a hold of your favorite tree. Chest up, chin back, tall spine, knee stays behind your toe. Lead with your tail. Tree pull up. Your feet can either be on the earth or on the tree. Knees are bent. Pull your chest up to the tree. Very important. Shoulders are pulled down and back and your head isn't looking over top like a turtle coming out of its shell. Your body is the best weight nature ever designed for your push-ups. Hands under your shoulders. Your pivot point is your toes. There should be alignment of ears, shoulders, hips, toes. Complete as many push-ups as you can pivoting from your toes. Then when you fatigue, immediately flip to your knees and complete 12 push-ups. It's time to wake up those inactive and sleepy glute muscles. Body bridge. 
hands at your side, lying on our back. Squeeze your glute muscles even before you start. Two, lift your hips up high off the ground. Three, squeeze your glutes even harder. Let's get an isometric contraction for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Release. Repeat your body bridge eight times. The bird dog is gonna require coordinating movement around the hip and shoulder joints while the lumbar region remains stable. This exercise has an excellent carryover benefit to most of your activities of daily living. It's time to get playful with a tree once again and this time develop a little bit more kinesthetic awareness for the wraparound. Stand underneath a tree, go into hyperextension of the spine and get creative with your movements wrapping around a tree branch. For an added challenge, stand on your tippy toes and move the positions of your arms. Human movement is a link of kinetic chains. Movements are a symphony requiring the participation of the entire orchestra, not just the cello, violin, or drums. The step out into the one-legged squat is going to require a tremendous amount of neuromuscular coordination. Don't be surprised if this movement feels very unnatural. When was the last time you moved through multiple planes of human movement? Time for some more monkey business. Climb a tree. Curious. Imagination. That sense of adventure. Get playful with the tree. How can you be doing it wrong if this is the way nature designed us to move. Your last raw movement, the hip thrust, is going to require a tremendous amount of neuromuscular coordination. Crouch down in the loaded position. Explode. Let that power travel through your lower body, through your spine, into the arms, and stabilize that transfer of force. Repeat eight times. Compared with exercising indoors, Exercising in natural environments is associated with increased revitalization, positive engagement, a decrease in tension, confusion, anger, depression, but most important, increased energy.